Want to create accurate shading in your drawing? Of course you do. Well, it all starts with understanding how to shade basic forms, and that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. We're going to start by just creating shapes and then adding value to those shapes will create the illusion of form. Let's first determine what a shape is, though. A shape, of course, is a flat enclosed line. So if we take a line and close it up, we've created a shape, and in this case, we have a circle. But we want to create the illusion of form in our drawing. And of course, the form version of our shape here is a sphere. So how do we do that? Well, we start with a shape, and then by adding value or shading, we create the illusion of a form. Now, this is all created because we have specific locations of value. Value, of course, is the darkness or lightness of a color. It's how we understand the world around us. And of course, most importantly, it's how we understand forms. Now, these locations of value tell us where the light is originating from as well. Now, these locations include the highlight, the area on the form where light is hitting most directly, the midtone, which is a location of middle value, the area of core shadow where the value is usually the darkest on the form, a reflected highlight where light is bouncing back off of objects that surround the form, and an area of cast shadow where light is prevented from hitting because the form is in the way. Now let's take a look at a few practical examples. We'll start by drawing a circle. Remember, the circle is the shape. And I'm just going to draw this circle by moving my shoulder around as I slowly bring the pencil to the surface. Once the circle is in place, we can refine its contours, and then we'll start adding value. I'm going to start in the area of core shadow, and I'm just going to use an H pencil initially. I'll fill in almost the entire sphere with an application of this H pencil. Then I'll go back with a softer graphite pencil. In this case, I'm using a General's Layout pencil, which is about equivalent to a 4B pencil, and progressively darken the area of core shadow. I can go back over the top of this area with another application of the H pencil, smoothing out any of the textural marks that were left by the softer graphite. We'll throw a bit of cast shadow underneath, leaving that area of reflected highlight, and now we've transformed a circle into a sphere. Next, let's take a square and turn it into a cube. We'll start by simply drawing a square. Again, we'll start with the harder graphite pencil initially and progressively move on to the softer graphite pencil. Now, once we have the square in place, we'll just draw three lines coming out from each of the three corners that are on the far left. And then we'll just connect those ends to finish off the overall form of the cube. Now, again, with our H pencil, we'll go back and we'll start to develop the value. Progressively, we'll get darker with our applications. It's always better when you're working with graphite to uh, make lighter applications initially and progressively get darker. It's considerably easier to make an area darker if you need to, instead of making it lighter if you accidentally make it too dark. Once we've got our initial H pencil applications on the surface, we'll go back with the softer graphite. Again, this is a general's layout pencil and start to push the values a bit darker. Of course, our light source is consistent for each of the forms that we're drawing here. In each case, the light source is originating from the upper right-hand corner, meaning for our cube, the top piece will be the area of highlight, the front-facing part of the cube will be the midtone, and then the area on the left side of the cube, of course, is the area of core shadow. Now we'll drop a bit of cast shadow right behind it, and we'll go back and darken up some of the values a bit further, pushing the range of value in this cube. We'll slightly darken the edges right at the bottom. And now we've transformed a square into a cube. 